They about to show everything with Tesla, the robots, and everything in between. So we're gonna check it out. It's an eight minute video. So if you rock with the channel, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, unsubscribe. Unsubscribe to the channel if you don't rock with the channel. Just like it makes no sense why you're here. Uh, love all the people who've been supporting. Uh, I do this for y'all. So y'all hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Let's get it. Yo, he really trying to take over the world, bro. With the Lambo doors? I'm getting 1980 vibes with this though. Like, I, I shouldn't be getting those type of vibes. This is futuristic shit. Turn this background music off. Are those Tesla bikes? Oh, this nigga going around the corner. Welcome. Welcome to the Wii Robot Party. So we, we have... Uh, we have quite a show for you tonight. I think, uh, I think Hold you up. like it. Hold up, Eli uh, Elon. I didn't... I, are you announcing this shit or we get to see it? I'm trying to see some of this shit. I, respect to you and your smart ass brain, but we trying to see what you putting out there. Oh, these are cabs. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. Uh, so you'll see model-wise and the cyber cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. What you mean? So I hope this goes well. <laughs> Me too. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be. Oh, there's price. no one in the cab. Yo, I just realized that's crazy. There's no one driving the damn cab. You just hop in the cab and it goes. Nah, that shit dangerous, I feel like. I feel like that shit hella dangerous, bro. <laughs> but I'm not sure because he got the Teslas out. He got the Cybertrucks. Don't he got like a mobile home for like 15 bands? So I think he got some type of formula to this shit, but that's crazy, bro. They're going to be, can there be cars on the road that operate with no steering wheel, no pedal, but can they be on the road with other cars? That's the question. Like, I, I know they have like sensors if they get close to cars and shit, but that's like insane, bro. We, we in a whole different world cents a mile um, and price including taxes and, and everything else probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile so yes and you will be able to buy one <laughs> <laughs> yes exactly he put Lambo doors uh, on the cab and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000 we do expect... Nah, actually. he trying to take over, bro. $30,000, bro? You can't even get one of these regular-ass shitty cars for $30,000. Nah, he tell you, yeah. You hit them low, so they all come in. That's what really what it is. The pricing is that got people going crazy. To, to start, uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. And... That, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the Cyber Cab, that, which is really um, hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, to, in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. When you, when you get in, you'll see like it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car 
with no steering wheel, no pedals, no controls, and it feels great. Something we're also doing is- Who controlling it though? That's the question. Can, they, can someone actually build? I mean, you can't do no shit like that because obviously lawsuits through the wooza, but I'm saying like, who controlling it? If, if I'm not controlling it, somebody got to be controlling this shit. Yo, this, what? I want to know the people behind this shit because like he's obviously the face. He got a smart brain, but there's people that clearly make this shit. I want to know, like, I want to talk to them. Uh, and it's really high time we did this is uh, inductive charging. So... The rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So, yeah. It's kind of how it should be. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? He pulled out the Sprinter van. The, the Robovan. The Robovan is, uh, this is a, we, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. So we're going now, to make this. Can you imagine this. going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city, uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time so this is gonna <laughs> the Robovan is what's gonna solve for high density so if you if you want to take a sports team somewhere or um, you're looking to to really uh, get uh, the cost of travel down to I don't know five ten cents a mile then you can use the Robovan some people call it the Robovan but uh... <laughs> speaking of robots that's what we're here for, the robots. So everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. Now that's just scary, bro. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus and uh, as you can see we, we started it with someone um, in a robot suit uh, sort of down and then we've progressed tra dramatically year after year they put someone in the suit and then molded the suit after him I, I know how they kind of did it but this shit is scary as hell just for the simple fact that we see our robot these shits could turn on you what if that shit just grab you like yo shut up stupid and them shit is probably hella strong but they look a little weeble in the knees you know what I'm saying keep them weeble knees you know is it weeble People, I don't know, but keep them knees, bro, so we could crack the knees at that, you know what I'm saying? Break the shit out that thing if it get too crazy. I would want one of these, but I would want to be able to break it, too. Like, that's the first thing. Can I break it? Like, can I bash it in so that shit don't work no more? Because this shit, uh, come on, man. You be sleep this shit, pick you up by your neck this shit. Here. You got to so put your shit you in your basement. Like this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you can have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. What? And In a Star Wars? I think at scale, the, the you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, you know, take us a minute to get to the long term. But, um, but fundamentally, at scale, at the Optimus robot, you should be able to... to Buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and, and and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn. No, this nigga said babysit groceries. your kids. He didn't lost his mind. He, <laughs> if you if you leave your kid with a goddamn robot, you, something wrong with your ass. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yo, yo, he trying to really take over the world though. No, no cap. He's selling shit for twenty bands, bro. That mean he want everybody, and then you know you can do the payment plan, so you know he about to get y'all niggas on there. Six hundred dollars a month, you got a robot in the crib doing everything you wanted to do. But you just gotta hope you can break that shit. That that's like my biggest thing. Can we break it? If I could break it, it's worth it. If I can't break it, it ain't worth it. Remember that? Like, can I, I just want to be able to smash his head open real quick if it get crazy.
But yo, this is the Elon Musk We Robot event. In eight minutes. It was a good eight minutes. We we figured some shit out. I'm nervous about the future. I don't think we're going to need humans anymore, bro. So looking at this shit, I don't know if we're going to need humans anymore, but y'all let me know if we're going to need them. Down in the comments. Oh, yeah, leave your reactions down in the comments which you want me to react to. And